this week's K-pop music money, we're giving away three copies of the new incredible CD with Junsu's Incredible. Smoky hot dogs. Are we ever happy with this song? Start to finish, it is a solid song, high energy, has great sing-along ability with the chorus and great summertime blockbuster feel to it. It really felt like 2013 started off a bit slow for K-pop, but recently we've been getting some really good songs. And Jun's is incredible is definitely a kick-ass song for the summer. Hi, and welcome back to Fangirly and Fangorilla. I'm your host, Sangrina. Hi girls! Yeah! Let me start off by saying this. Junsu, you're back and you're so hot. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Especially when you wear shorts on top of long underwear. Are you challenging me, boy? I can rip both of those off your body in one go with my teeth. Arr. Yeah, you bought him too, didn't you? Okay, so I want to know something. So this Oprah touching lady, she, uh, she had a camera with her. And when you're peeping in Junsu's room, do you uh, have any pictures? Because if you do, I'd be willing to buy them off you. Please, I need those pictures for scientific purposes. Call me. I think you better run because I'm gonna kill you if I touch my Junsu a while. Ha <laughs> just joking. So that's it for this week's edition of Fangirly with Fangorilla. And remember, girls, I'm not ugly, I'm exotic! Mwah! The video is really cool as well, as it's not only out of the box, but it's out of the country. Awesome! And I'm sure that some of you thought the same thing that we were thinking when we watched this video. Look at them for it, people! We are totally happy that K-pop is acknowledging its internationalness and is incorporating non-Korean people into their videos. But what we happen to find with most of the time is that when K-pop videos represent international crowds, it's oftentimes an overwhelming amount of white people and a few black people like we saw in that painfully awkward mess for Batuste Beautiful Night. That's not really an accurate representation of an international audience. I feel like this Junsu video does it right. His backup dancers alone are a much bigger mixture of people of different races and genders than what we see most of the time in K-pop videos and the indoor party scene has black, white and even Asian actors and actresses. I think it does a much better job of representing a non-Korean audience than most K-pop videos. Good evening, welcome to Eat Your Kimchi News. I'm your host, Finley's McMugglesworth IV. Top story tonight, police were called onto the scene in a West Beverly Hills home this afternoon where a well-dressed hippie was initially charged with breaking and entering, but soon had the charges dropped in a bizarre twist. The incident occurred during a party which was being held by a group of ridiculously attractive people in their early 20s. Seriously, who has a freaky six pack like this? What the fuck? do you even eat food, you ridiculous I could wash my clothing on your washboard abs. The victim, Zaya Junsu, claims that he was sitting alone in the bedroom and singing to himself like a weirdo while the hot party was going on outside. When the hippie girl entered through the window, became tangled in the curtains like an idiot, and then started taking pictures of Zaya with a really old and questionable camera like a freaky stalker. Zaya, who has a history of dealing with creepy stalkers, was terrified and dialed 911. Police quickly arrived on the scene, only to find that Zaya was making out with the said stalker hippie girl because the girl was hot and I quote, it's only creepy and scary when the girls are ugly. All charges against her were dropped. This sends a message to his fans that being creepy might just land some of you into Junsu's spaceship candy. Next up, an in-depth look into the music video makeout culture. Who wears their shoes and socks in bed when making out? Like seriously, he's literally squatting in bed with full shoes and he's Korean. Everyone knows Korean people don't wear shoes past their front door. I gotta say, I often mention how Shiny and Infinite are my favorite dancers in the K-pop scene, but I seem to forget to mention Junsu, who slapped me across the face with his high energy, fist punching, leg thrusting dance. Whoa! And doesn't it just seem like everyone in this video is really happy to be dancing in this video? I can't remember the last time I saw smiles and happy passion on everyone's faces in a K-pop video, and it just makes it feel even cooler. And I want to be in a Junsu video. I can wear a, a fish hat, and I can shimmy around in the background. I can shake a noodle. As for the English of the song, I'm giving this a 3 out of 5. I'm not even sure if that was part of the dance. Now I have no problem with Junsu's pronunciation or even with his line, you put your swag on. Because as soon as I saw Junsu's all gold suit, I understood how someone could literally put their swag on. Or at least I think so. Is that how you people put your swag on nowadays? I'm 
Not sure. But Quincy's verse is just monkey balls awful. It's so uninspired and lazy and it totally ruins the energy of the rest of the song. But that's not what I'm docking points for. I'm more concerned with the Thank you. Shake your spaceship candy, which isn't just going to confuse ESL students from here to eternity, but it also makes no sense to us native English speakers as well. Junsu, first Kanye, and now Quincy. Both really bad additions to otherwise really great songs. Three out of five. Last week we put 21's Falling in Love against Sistar's Loving You in a battle for best summertime video. And the winner is, I don't know, because Facebook stopped allowing polls and that was awkward timing. So I'm going to guess the win went to Sistar because a lot of people like the beach scene better. Plus it was Hawaii. This week we're putting up Quincy versus Kanye in a showdown for the worst Junsu guest appearance ever. And this week we've also got a different way to do polls outside of Facebook. So head on over to our blog post. You could vote there and you could read more about our thoughts on the song and video, especially on Junsu's rolling down the sexy window. We saw that, you saw that. I know what you were thinking. <laughs> Well, we like this song and video so freaking much, and we're such big fans of Zaya and JYJ that we're gonna give away three new copies of Zaya Junsu's new CD. If you want us to give one to you, here's what you gotta do. For our YouTube subscribers, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the link here. We're only giving away CDs to our subscribers. Let us know in the comments why you think this song and video is incredible. Show all of your support and nasty love. For our Facebook people. First, like our Facebook page. Then find our contest thread and give that a like. And then in the comments of that contest thread, answer the same question. For our Twitter followers, make sure you're following us on Twitter by clicking on the link here. And then retweet this link by clicking on the link here. It's so easy. Just click some buttons, you're done. We'll pick three winners and announce them for next week's Music Monday. And on that note, take it away, semi nasty spudgy in comparison to Junsu. Everyone's semi. You got me saying. Subscribe for more vids. You also got to click on the bloopers. You something, something, catch my dummy now. I am the spudgy world.